Three minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding, and uh, it is just a real honor to be here tonight to uh, tell my friend Howard Coble how much he means to me and how much I'm going to miss him here in the House of Representatives. He has not only been an outstanding leader on the House Judiciary Committee, and by the way, I hope the gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Jones, will uh, <coughs> compile all those wonderful photographs and put them in some kind of uh, uh, a binder so that uh, a book maybe even so that all of us can can see and enjoy all those uh, 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 historic caricatures that have been created in Howard's honor uh, over these many years. But uh, not only has he been a great member of the House Judiciary Committee, he has been uh, a close personal friend of mine for more than 20 years. Uh, in addition to serving with him on the committee, uh, he is somebody who is always uh, turning to others, uh, uh, taking an interest in them. Uh, he has an uncanny ability to remember the mascots for virtually any high school or college that someone attended, and his ability to always ask others how they are feeling. With respect to this last point, He's diffused more than a few difficult conversations by asking people, how's your back feeling? Inevitably, especially if someone is older, they begin to talk about back problems and forget about what they were so exercised about. He is also uh, a great tennis player. Uh, for nearly 20 years, uh, I've had the honor of playing tennis with him very early on Wednesday mornings, and uh, Howard isn't known for moving around the court really fast, but the thing about him is he always was there where you hit the ball, and he always put it back just exactly where he wanted it to go, and uh, 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 an amazing uh, accomplishment. So, uh, Howard, thank you very much for that. I want to tell one story uh, in conjunction with a field hearing that, was, that took place in Nashville. Uh, Howard is a great fan of uh, bluegrass music and country music in general. Uh, a field hearing that took place in Nashville uh, when the FJS Fairness and Music Licensing Bill was under consideration in the late 1990s, a meeting was arranged with Garth Brooks. Howard, who was serving as the then subcommittee chairman, was a lifelong fan of bluegrass and traditional country music. He didn't really know who Brooks was and was far more interested in arranging a meeting with Grandpa Jones from the Grand Ole Opry. But uh, he knows who he is now. In fact, uh, Garth is uh, uh, making a comeback. And uh, Howard, uh, you will uh, enjoy uh, many, many uh, more opportunities to enjoy uh, the music that you love. He would always ask me uh, how things were in the Star City, uh, which is my hometown of Roanoke, Virginia, and uh, took an interest in, in uh, me and what I was doing. Uh, and on the committee as the... Um, uh, chairman of the Courts, the Internet and Intellectual Property Subcommittee, where he serves now and has served uh, on a number of occasions in the past. Uh, he stood very strong for the rights of uh, the private property rights of people who are creators of music and motion pictures and uh, great uh, products that uh, they seek patents on and so on. Uh, and uh, his work will serve for a long time in the future uh, to protect that uh, great American incentive to create and create jobs. His work created many jobs for many Americans. He's a true son of the 6th District of North Carolina. I'm from the 6th District of Virginia. Uh, but in his case, uh, he's a lifelong uh, son of the 6th District, having been born in Greensboro, educated in uh, the 6th District, uh, and uh, been... Uh, 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 a, a county attorney and an assistant U.S. attorney and with the North Carolina, he's been a revenuer with the North Carolina Department of Revenue, but what I didn't know was that his first six years in his professional life, he was a claims adjuster for the State Farm Mutual Automobile Insurance Company. So here uh, in the closing days of his service, I'm still learning new things about my friend Howard Coble. So Howard, Thank you very much for not only being my friend and a great colleague to all of us here in the House, but for being a great American.